Now that you've gone through the video lecture and you have some understanding about the keyboard control, we're going to take this program that you've been working on, so the one that you used at the second half of the video, and we're going to modify it to start your actual game. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to your small picture and copy what you did. So for me, I did my smiley. So I'm going to open up one of my versions, and as long as it's got the X and Y in it, any of them will work. So I'm going to copy this whole function right here. I'm going to come back into my game. And I'm going to go where I have my handlers here. So I'll just go right above draw. And I'm going to paste this smiley. So I'm actually going to draw the smiley instead of just a ball. Now if you don't think that your small picture will work very well, then you can use my code instead. But if possible, then you should use yours. So I'm just going to take off this line of code here and I'm going to call Smiley. A Smiley has three parameters, so when I call it, I need, must pass in three arguments. So the first one's going to be Canvas. Now what's going to happen here is we have X and we have Y, but when we've been changing this program, we now have something called Ball Position. This is a list, and we haven't really talked about lists yet, but think about a list as an ordered pair. So instead of having an X and a an Y, which we have right here, we're going to put X and Y together into one variable called ball position. Let's actually change the name of this to pick position because it's a picture now. So the pick position is going to have X and Y. So it's an ordered pair, but we're going to use a square bracket instead of a parenthesis, and we're still going to have a comma. So the first part of the, the first element of pick position is the X value. And the second element is the y value. Now, anytime you're working in programming, remember the first element of anything is the zero position, and the second one is the first position. So this is going to be pick position zero. This is going to be pick position one. It's going to represent the x. This is going to represent the y. So what I want to pass in for x is the pick position and the, the first element, which is zero. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put in pick position and then use my square brackets zero for the first element and for y it's going to be pick pick position one so this is how I'm going to represent x and this is how I'm going to represent y so using a list which we haven't really talked about but here's a quick basic so I've got this put in right here now one more thing I need to do before I run the program since I changed ball position to pick position I'm going to come into my key handler and I'm going to change ball to pick. I just need to do that for all four of them. So now when I run the program, I should see my smiley face and I should be able to control it with the arrow keys. And you should be able to do this with your picture. So if you already put in the X and Y for your picture, it's just a simple change. So that's you know kind of the power of programming and using functions is you can take some good code that works, just make a quick modification. We didn't we didn't even have to do very much. And now I'm moving around an entire picture instead of just a simple ball.